Hello and welcome to Riley on Film. I'm your host, Damian Riley. I've written two books so far and currently I'm on my third. I'm not in film or on film, yet one day, who knows, lightning could strike. I am a bipolar professional here putting up my thoughts about human life. I hope you enjoy your time here. Namaste and God bless you. Gaia. Uh, what they say about it is a forest ranger and two survivalists with a cultish devotion to the forest face the threat of an unrelenting wilderness when a strange being appears. Um, I just finished Gaia, as G A I A, and it's on Hulu. <laughs> Yay for me! I'm watching more modern movies now. I graduated from my 60s horror I think I watched just about every 60s horror that was ever made uh, I'm sure there's probably a few more I haven't seen but I may go back now and then but <clears throat> I am now looking at more modern horror again which is kind of exciting Gaia is interesting it's almost like the point of it is not clear but <clears throat> then again it is sort of like modern civilization against nature and we see an interesting ending that is sort of open to interpretation and I would love to get some of your opinions of the ending but you have a, a, a beautiful woman I'm assuming that's Monique Rockman she's the first listed female uh, Carol Nell Anthony Oseyemi Alex Van Dyck. Um, yeah, so there's another language in this. I'm not sure. I don't know why. I just think it's like Norwegian or something, but I don't know what the other language is. Every now and then the words seem to sort of match the uh, English subtitles. So maybe, maybe it's uh, more of a romance language, but I don't know. And I haven't read anything about this movie. I just watched it. It is very open to interpretation. I think this is one of those movies that people will like enjoy pouring their own meaning into, which is probably what I'm doing too. But there is a creature, and the creature makes these like uh, chigger sounds that, that I'm hearing a lot these days with alien movies and stuff like that. That's kind of neat. I like it. It's almost like relaxing you before you're killed by them. <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, the girl is real pretty, Monique uh, Rockman, and she has a couple topless scenes. Uh, but, you know, it's not gratuitous. It's part of the story, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, so, it reminded me a little bit of Annihilation. I remember in Annihilation, uh, there's some stuff going on with nature and plants growing on people's bodies and stuff like that. So, we have that here. But other than that, it's uh, pretty out there, man. It's it's not your typical horror. Uh, it's uh, but like I said, there is a creature. There's a theme of nature versus society. There's a lot of dialogue about how mankind has become really um, hedonistic. To, to give it a word and uh, so therefore like nature is trying to get back at him meaning all of mankind but there is kind of a message at the end that sort of says you know you should go ahead and just eat fast food anyway because uh, it's all going down the tubes and might as well get some fast food so <laughs> that's kind of my interpretation of the ending not the best I've seen in a while, but, uh, you know, it held my attention. So I'd probably give it, gosh, probably like a 5 out of 10, which for a horror is pretty pretty okay. It's still in the game. Um, so that's it. I hope you let me know what you thought of Gaia, and I will see you next time.
Hello there, and thanks for listening to Riley on Film. I'm your host, Damian Riley, finding his way between bipolar and this crazy messed up world that thinks Trumpism is religion. But thanks for listening, and I hope you'll come back, and I accept all people, love all people, love all people, and I will see you next time.